Well, today's video is going to be about um, installing. It's actually been installing an outside socket, double socket, waterproof socket. But if you're going to put a security light up, um, it's kind of like a double video. This is. Um, so if you've got like a pool with a pump, instead of having individual power supplies to all of them, it's probably better to just put an outside socket and then just plug them all into um, that socket. If you watch the video, you'll see what I'm on about. Um, I've got to say a disclaimer at the beginning of this video. Um, if you don't know what you're doing, I wouldn't be copying this video at all. Um, I don't know what the rules and laws are in each country, but um, you need to look into that. So I don't hold any responsibility for anybody getting injured copying what I do. Okie dokie. It's quite a basic job, so uh, you're not going to need many tools. I mean, some of this stuff you probably don't need, but you know, your spirit level. But you're definitely going to need a drill. You're going to need a tester to make sure it's safe. And you're going to need one of these long uh, 8mm drills. But um, everything else is just pretty much, it's up to you. Uh, to make it easier, it's probably better to use one of these uh, all-in-one toolkits. Um, yeah, so that's what you're going to need. And, um, yeah, typical. It started absolutely hammering it down with rain. But uh, I'm going to carry on anyway. I think I deserve a like just for that. What do you think? <laughs> what well, the next stage is you need to remove the socket. Um, once the socket's removed, we'll just test behind just to make sure it's dead. Um, so I'll proceed to do that. So what you need to do is locate the... Uh, the breaker that you know controls them sockets which on this one it's this one i've already just turned it off and then make sure you get a dolly lock on there and put a padlock on put the key in your pocket um i'm gonna do that in a minute so i'm not gonna drag the video out let's see it turn it off lock it off and then go and check to see if it's uh dead right initially you need to make a little pilot hole in the back of the steel back box uh, make sure you use a steel drill as well, not a mainstream one or a wooden one. So yeah, so you'll just do it for, first you just do it a small pilot hole. Okay. So once you made the initial um, pilot hole with a three millimeter, you need to go through with a six millimeter next. Same again, make sure it's a metal drill, not a wood or a mainstream one. So yeah, let's just put that um, six millimeter. And for the final cut in the uh, in the steel back box, you want to go for a 10 mil. So yeah, same again, steel drill, make a 10 mil hole. Now you've cut through the back box, steel part, you want to change now to your um, masonry drill. And you're going to need a long drill like this to make sure it gets to the outside of the wall. So make sure it's long enough. If you've got rendering on the outside, you've got to make sure this is long enough to get through. Um, and also put it onto the ha hammer action on your drill. Um, so, and first of all, use an eight mil. If you if you've got an eight mil and a ten mil, use the eight mil first, just to get uh, the initial um, hole in the wall. Okay. All right, preparing the back box for the installation on the wall. Um, there's the hole, and I'm going to put it. I want it more over this side than that side. So, what I'll do, I'm going to use this hole here. Now you could just knock that out and then put like a grommet in there. But the way I'm going to do it, I'm going to drill a small pilot hole in the middle. And then after I've done that, because I'm using 10 mil uh, cable, um, I'm going to use a hole cutter and then just cut a 10 mil, um, 10 mil hole. Because what I'm going to do when I feed the cable through, I'm just going to put a, some silicon around it so to seal it so no water can get in there. I think silicon kind of works a bit better than a grommet. A grommet seems to leak. Um, if you haven't got one of these hole cutters, you can just use a 10 mil drill piece just to drill your 10 mil. That's if you use 10 mil cable, as in like the 10 mil with the insulation on the outside. Let's do that then and get it uh, to the next stage. Next part is uh, putting your box on the wall. So all you do is like line up the, uh, the hole to where the cable comes out. Uh, get your spirit level, make sure it's nice and straight, and then just mark where the holes in, ready to drill. Uh, the inside there. Okay. 
Okay, I'm getting to the stage where I'm going to feed the cable to the outside. Um, I've realised with this cable, an uh, 8 mil drill was big enough, so I, I didn't have to put a 10 mil um, through. So all you do is just find the hole, cut it flat like that so it's nice and um, straight, and then just feed it into the hole, find out, feel where the hole is. A bit of trial and error. And then, yep, yeah, and then just feed it through until it comes out the other side. Okay. Right, once you've got the cable through, um, I'm going to attempt to do this with one hand. I don't think I'm going to be able to do it. But um, get your strippers, strip off a bit of the cable here, and then just actually, I'll do it and then I'll come back to you. So you strip back some of the outer um, insulation and then strip back about about 10 mils of um, each of the individual cables I'll get to that stage and then show you right so you get to that stage rule of thumb is like uh, have enough cable to like come to the edge and then like an extra about inch <coughs> oh, excuse me <coughs> as I say I'm going to put silicon around this here to seal it you could use a grommet um, but I'm going to I'm going to use um, silicon sealant um, so yeah, once you get to that stage, just uh, put the cables into the uh, the back of the actual socket. Don't use this earth here. I don't even know why that earth's there because this is a plastic case. So, and the front of the actual socket is metal. So put the earth onto the actual front of the um, the socket. I'll show you what I mean. Okay, that's the back of it wired. This one's on about with the earth. See, I've got this uh, earth strip going across here. Put the earth into there. The reason being is it's because it's got a metal fascia. So if there is a fault and that become live, at least it'll go down the earth. Um, a few little notes as well, probably things I forgot to say on here. The reason I've not put a fuse spur onto this is because there's, an, there's already an RCD on the uh, ring circuit. So it's RCD protected by the ring circuit. And also, the reason I've used one and a half mil cable, because one and a half mil cable can hold, well, can handle uh, 26 amps. So if we've got it on two sockets, um, you know, if, as long as it's got two 13 amp sockets on it, that the most it can handle is 26 amps. So it'll be fine. <laughs> and I say, like, this isn't like, you shouldn't be doing this really, unless you're a qualified electrician. So. Um, the video is only really just for like um, entertainment sort of uh, value more than anything else anyway so then what you do you screw that back onto there make sure the seal the seals all in its proper position and uh, that's this part well I'm gonna silicon that up but I'm not going to show that part it's just simple put some silicon around it that's it done okay once you've turned the breaker off and you've locked it off put the key in your pocket and then uh, the next thing to do is actually check to make sure that it is dead. I mean, you should use an approved um, voltage, in, uh, what's called voltage indicator things with the proving unit, but you can use your testers. Um, so you turn on to voltage and you always put your neutral on first. So never put your live one on because then that'll become, if it is live, that'll become live. So first thing you do is you, you test across live and earth Across earth and neutral, and across live and neutral. So there's three tests. I'll do, I'll do it again. So you test across live and neutral, across live and earth, and then across earth and neutral. And that was it, that was all of them was dead. And now I already tested this on a live circuit before, just to make sure it was working. So now that's dead. All you gotta do is put these cables into there. So yeah, you wire your cables in. Earth into earth, brown into live, blue into neutral. Um, yeah, once it's all wired in, put the, put the cover back on and reinstate the power. Um, and then you'll have power to the socket. Once it's all been put on the wall and all put back together, take the uh, padlock back off um, and then reinstate the power. Once you've reinstated the power, I'll just go and check that the sockets are working. 
So yeah, I've come back to the uh, socket and uh, tested the socket and yep, getting 240 volts. So everything's fine. One of the main reasons I put this outside uh, socket on the wall was to uh, run the pump to the pool. What I've done, I've run an extension lead down here and it's one of these waterproof extension leads. So what you do, you put your cables in here which you've got rubber seals and then you close the box. Makes it airtight, uh, air makes it uh, waterproof. So, yeah, instead of having to run a socket all the way to over there, just that's the easy way to put a socket on the wall and then just run one of those. It costs 19 99 off Amazon or something like that. And one of the final checks is just to check that the extra sockets work. So, switch on the light. Just switch on the pump. Yep, that's working. That's working. So, happy days. Okay, if you made it this far, you know, thanks for watching. Um, and I'll say, it's only a rough sort of video just to give you an idea of an easy way to put a socket on the outside and um, with the security lights as well. And I say I made a few little mistakes in what the word, you know, that, like, I says cable, tie the cable. I meant to use the, the little clips that you knock into the brickwork. But, uh, Miss is happy with it anyway. And the dog, who always fell asleep. Anyway, thanks for watching. Until next time, bye.